Yesterday, Ulta apparently went on Reddit and started answering people's questions officially and answered some questions very weirdly, which has caused people to go absolutely insane. And also, we got a new Apex update that fixed something. So let's go over that, starting with the update. This update actually came out Tuesday and it fixed Valkyrie's fuel gauge so it refills properly because for some reason it wasn't refilling if you didn't touch the ground. Very odd. Crashes with explosive holds are now fixed, which means you can blow them up again without crashing the server, hopefully. But it feels like there's always a glitch for these things. We've also had alter audio fixes, fixes where you spawn in without a weapon because apparently that was an issue, and then some miscellaneous issues you've probably never had an issue with, so they're not worth mentioning. Also, on the day this update came out, we also got a new store, which is the Nitrate store, and it releases all of these gun skins. Luckily, you can buy this skin straight up. I was worried Respawn were going to bundle these with packs just to inflate the bundle price for absolutely no reason, but it seems you can buy these straight up. Also, these are in the same style as this Cobalt guitar. On top of this, from May the 21st, to June the 3rd, we are getting our very first post-release Ulta skin, which is this. It's nothing crazy, but I mean, it's a Twitch drop, so if you watch Twitch a lot, you may as well claim it. It also comes with a Nessie that's seemingly playing with, like, a ball, a ball of sugar, maybe? I'm not sure. The Nessie's eating it either way. And also, we're waiting for Respawn's response about a strange issue about getting banned for getting kills, but we'll talk about that after the AMA. Because Respawn did an Ask Me Anything on Reddit, where they role-played in character as Ulta and answered the community's questions, which turned Turns out about as well as you think it would. It's funny nonetheless, and I think Respawn do lay down a lot of hints to Ulta's true identity. And they might support a theory I kind of like. Of course, we had a banger question to start off that asked me anything. Somebody said, Ulta, the one question I would really want to ask you is, who are you? Uh, luckily this guy didn't get killed for saying that, but she said, I was a pilot in the Frontier War, where I merged with a Titan and became the first Python ever. But we ate some pilot named Jack Cooper, got an awful stomach ache, hurled, and then we separated again. Lucky man, that Jack Cooper. Um, okay. But I guess this does confirm that Alter knows who Jack Cooper is in the lore. Maybe some interesting stuff to come out of that in the future. Or maybe Respawn are just trying to kick Titanfall while they're down. The Titanfall subreddit's probably not going to like that. Somebody was asking Alter a few questions and she never really answered properly. But she did say she has new friends since coming to the games like the Medic, which is Lifeline. And also the Idiot in Yellow. And I'm sure you can kind of gather who the Idiot in Yellow is in your head. Somebody asked a really cool question actually. What are some alternate versions of our Legends? And Alter said, there's a version of Walter Fitzroy, aka Fuse, who loves computers and fashion. And fashion full of computers. She also said, in one world, Conduit is inspired by something a lot more interesting than a Monarch Titan. And also, there's a version of Lifeline, who is a lot less... Medici. She's my favourite. Well, the second favourite, of course. The best version of Dr. Summers is about to emerge. A very big teaser for what... I don't think anybody knows, but I really hope Respawn expand upon the alternate versions of the legend because I'd love to see Mirage from a different universe where he has kind of a different appearance like the theory we talked about in the trailer where this might be an alternate version of Mirage. For the next question, somebody asked a whole page of questions and don't do this because you won't get an answer for all of them, but Alter did respond. She can travel across realities, not across time. And also, her fastest gauntlet time is 0.5 seconds because she took the void to the other side. And if you're not aware, this this is the gauntlet, the thing from the Titanfall 2 tutorial, which is a nice throwback. Alter seems to like to reference Titanfall a lot. I'm not sure if that's Respawn just doing fan service while roleplaying as Alter, or there's something deeper to this. For the next question, if you're not aware, Alter does have a voice line where she talks about how Watson has a robot arm in an alternate universe, and somebody asked about this, and she said, What's the obsession with robot arms? Is this why all of them do that? Plain to their adoring fans, I call that desperation in any world. So I guess if you want to become famous in the Apex universe, get a robot arm because apparently people just really like that. I mean, if you merge the Cyberpunk and Apex universe, I think I think people go crazy. Somebody asked why Alter's portals don't look like normal Void tech because they don't, they're all fractured and stuff. And Alter said, I don't like to copy. I prefer to do things differently. I break through realities with my tech. So basically, I think they're trying to say because she breaks through realities rather than travels through, they look different. At the end of the day, this is likely because Respawn wanted to make the portals more readable, so you don't get confused between a Wraith portal and an Alter portal. And I guess this might confirm there's nothing much deeper to it than that. This is where it gets a bit interesting though, because somebody asked, Hi Alter, are you worried about running into this dimension's version of yourself, or is she off causing chaos elsewhere? And Alter replied, I'm not worried about another me. She'll be fine if she chooses to be who she is. 
And I feel like this might be confirming the Horizon thing a bit. So basically, if you're not aware, I have a theory that Alter is an alternate version of Horizon. And this kind of makes me feel that this theory might be true a bit more. I'd love to hear you guys' opinions on it. Here's something that might be a teaser to a new map or map update. Somebody asked, what's your favorite Apex Games Arena? Alternate realities do also count. Alter said, there's one that's been torn apart piece by piece. I can't wait for you to see it, so I guess this is something upcoming. Maybe we do get to see the alternate version of Olympus that crashed into Broken Moon. I don't know. Once again, throw some theories around because I don't really know what you could be talking about here. Maybe a new mixtape map or something. There's also quite an infamous answer already in this Ask Me Anything because somebody asked Alter, what does the Mahjong tile in the Portal teaser mean? If you're not aware, this is referencing the teaser from the end of Season 20. And Alter replied, I like to Catanese. Do you like to Catanese? So, of course, people went straight to Google and translated this because not everybody speaks Catanese. And it translates to... <laughs> I like, I like to touch myself. Do you like to touch yourself? Which is a bit strange and I think inappropriate for Alter to say. You know, you're trying to maintain a public face here. But it turns out it's just a mistranslation from Google Translate. And it's actually meant to say, I like to win. Do you like to win? Which makes a lot more sense considering they're talking about Mahjong, which is a tabletop game. That didn't stop people from calling her freaky Alter though. After this, somebody asked, who was the strongest core stick you've come across? And Alter asked, are you asking who's the stinkiest? They're all rather pungent, and when I saw Alter's reply originally, I thought she was replying to a post about Vantage, but apparently not. And once again, it seems Alter is not beating the freaky allegations because somebody asked, do you have a crush on Mary Summers, aka Horizon? And Alter answered, the only crush I like is the one that flattens you. Honestly, I really liked this Ask Me Anything. I think the person answering the questions on behalf of Alter was one of the people writing the Apex lore, so I think we might be able to scrape some decent lore from this in the future. I can't wait to see where we respawn take the story. Going off the AMA though, there's something very important that's been catching a lot of people out because remember that video I made a few days ago about the bot lobbies? Basically, in certain East Asian servers in the middle of the night, for some reason there's like 30 AFK bot gibbies that drop from the sky that people farm for 20 bombs. Well, it turns out after you kill these gibbies, despite them being automated bots, they report you for hacking after you kill them. So this is causing a lot of people to get banned because if you get reported 20 times in a match, you're probably hacking and respawn will just automatically ban you. So do not farm these bot armies. I think it should have been said anyway. Don't farm these bot armies because you're only going to get in trouble. If you get 30 kills in a game, your name is most likely going to start flashing red on hideouts monitor and he's probably going to press the ban button. And also, weirdly enough, regarding yesterday, a load of people got a free Apex coins. I touched on this yesterday. Still no response from Respawn, but now there is a mega thread on Reddit where the Reddit moderators are saying probably don't spend these coins just in case Respawn weren't meant to give them to you. There's a lot of weird stuff going on in Apex right now, so I guess we'll see how it all pans out in a week where like a thousand people are probably going to get banned for no reason. Should Respawn do more of these Ask Me Anythings? And also subscribe to keep updated if they do another one.